All right, so you've got the marching ants around Freddie Mercury. He's ready to go. So we're going to, and again, be very careful because I'm afraid if you, if you select someplace outside of this, you might deselect it, and you don't want to do that. So you're going to right-click on him, edit and copy. Control-C does the same thing. And then you're going to go to your stage, and you're going to right-click again, and oops, you're going to paste. And paste is Control-V. Okay, Freddy is enormous. Before you do anything else, come over here to your Layers window. This one right here. Remember, Control L. Notice this is floating selected pasted layer. Well, it's not. It's not a selection yet. So, in order to sort of solidify this selection, you want to click right here on the Create a New Layer and add it to the Image uh, button. Okay, that one in the bottom left corner. So you click on it, and notice it becomes a pasted layer. Now, if you want to give it a name, uh, you it, it's not going to work here. You just double click right here and let's call it statue. You don't have to. But it, it helps, especially when you have lots and lots of layers, it helps to be able to figure out which layer is which. So I'm going to click OK. Now, remember there's two layers. I can turn off this statue layer and Freddy disappears. I can turn on St Freddy and turn off the background layer and that disappears. Okay. Doesn't matter which layer you can see. If I turn off uh, the, the Freddie Mercury layer, I'm still selecting the statue layer. Notice it's the statue layer is selected, even though I can't see it. So, in order for you to work on something, it helps to see it, but it also make make sure that you're selecting. You're on the one that you've selected. So, I'm selecting the statue layer, and I'm going to resize. So, the scale tool, right here. You're going to click on that. Click on Freddie. Okay, and you can grab the corners, but I think the easiest thing to do is to just do it manually. Now, again, uh, be sure that these two chains here are connected by clicking on them, so everything happens symmetrically. So we don't have Freddie being too skinny or too short and fat. We just want him to be the same size. And you're going to go up here where it says width, and you're going to change the width to 50, and then click on scale. And there goes Freddie. He's nice and small. Uh, go ahead and at this point uh, click on the move tool and move Freddy onto the stage. And there you go. Freddie Mercury on stage again. So all you have to do, if you have saved this as a GIMP file already, and I did save it as a GIMP file, stage s one b John student, is to hit the control S, which is save or file save, but control S, and I'm saving this file now, so this file is saved, and one last thing that you need to do is you need to save as, because this is a GIMP file now, save as a JPEG, so just backspace over XCF and type JPG, and click save, export, and I'll make it 100%, and save. And that's it. You're done. Now you can go ahead and close this one. And you don't need to save the statue file. You're done with it. So just click and close. And uh, don't save. Now let's just for just to see what you need to have for your uh, grade. I'm going to go to the my computer. Uh, you don't do that, but I do. Uh, and it's in the Jameson folder, period folder, your folder, and there's my other ones. So here's the stage, and here's Freddie Mercury on stage. So there it is. And uh, that's what you're going to get a grade on. Now remember, uh, do a good job because I will be taking a kind of a closer look to make sure that you got this area right here. And uh, I don't want to see too much uh, stuff hanging off on the side either. So that's what your grade is based on. Have fun.